Now let's look at communication network or elements of communication in Nigeria. And these elements include telecommunication, postal services, radio, newspapers, internet, satellite, courier services, etc. So we'll look at them one after the other. Then let's consider telecommunication. Telecommunication involves the use of telephone services, cellular phones, voicemails, etc. It is a technology of sending and receiving uh, messages or information over a long distance. Now, telephone services, you know, are various forms. These telephone services are various forms of telephone services which include private business exchange, that's the PBE, and subscriber trunk dialing, so what we call STG, private telephone lines, telephone directories, international um, subscriber dialing, and that's what we call the ISG. And we also have the global system of mobile telecommunication, the GSM. Nigerian Postal Services, that's the Nine Post, is the second element we will be looking at now. And the postal services are ordinary letters, you know, or parcels. And they are usually registered and um, they have things like private boxes and bags and um, also what we call the business reply services. This uh, makes up or constitutes the Nigerian Postal Services, what their, 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 their work, their involvement, and all they do. Now we also have the third one here, which is mass media. Mass media involves the transmission of messages through special media of um, communication to the public. And the mass media here will include the use of radio, television, newspapers, film shows, pamphlets, banners, handbills, posters, etc. There are different types of um, mass media. One we have the electronic mass media and we have the print mass media. The electronic mass media involves the use of electronics like radio sets, television sets, etc. to transmit information to people. Whereas the print media involves the use of uh, materials like newspapers, banners, pamphlets, posters, etc. Let's consider advantages of um, the mass media. Mass media, with the help or with the aid of mass media, we can reach out to a large audience and it may not require the presence of the operators. Information can reach the audience at a fixed date or time. Also, information can last long. Pictures can be sent and received easily through mass media. And um, disadvantages, however, here are that they are expensive to operate. And the audience may find it difficult to ask questions because they are not, you know, um, communicating face to face. And they may be available to only rich people. Mass media may be available to only those who can afford to buy television sets, to afford to, uh, to buy um, satellites, uh, dishes, uh, and to um, daily buy newspapers, although they are cheap anyway, but um, if you begin to look at the cumulative effect of buying papers, newspapers on a daily basis, you know that um, uh, at a point, only those who can afford will continue. So that's a disadvantage. Now, it may be useful only to the educated. Some persons may not be able to read or listen to uh, or understand the language, the English language, because uh, that's the general language which is often used here in Nigeria. Now, number four, we have the internet. 
This is the global network of computers, mainly for sending and receiving information. Computer is, uh, I mean, the internet is of immense benefit to uh, the economy of any country, of any nation. Now, such benefits here include the e-learning, the e-commerce, the teleconferencing, e-banking, and um, the internet also saves time and call. E-learning has to do with um, learning outside the four walls of the classroom and obtaining certificates. E-commerce involves um, trading and carrying out transactions online. And teleconferencing here also has to do with um, um, participating in a conference or a meeting uh, from a very different venue. And um, advantage of the internet here also is that it saves time and cost. What would have been done within, uh, uh, with, um, say, a week can be done within one day because of the fast nature of the internet and um, how uh, um, effective it is. However, with these benefits, there are some uh, misuse of the internet or what we call abuse of the internet. Some persons are involved in um, cyber crime in it, with the internet, on the internet, and um, pornography, as well as addiction. Some persons can stay online for several hours, you know, browsing at the expense of their careers, at the expense of their education, at the expense of so many other things which they could have. You know, taken care of. So now we have satellites. Satellite here, this is a communication equipment which is deployed and stationed in space to send signals to different countries of the world. And the functions of satellites include the provision of telephone and television links among nations of the world. The satellite also is the international or global transmission of messages and covers live events. Now we have courier services. Courier services, these are duties rendered by privately owned courier companies to provide reliable and efficient means of conveying urgent documents from one place to another. Now, their services include fast and reliable delivery of letters, parcels, etc. And such companies in Nigeria include the DHL, UPS, FedEx, etc. Now, what imp of what importance is communication to us as a country, as a nation? Now, communication promotes commercial activities. It leads to the creation of awareness for goods and services. And there is also reduction in cost and risk of traveling. With the aid of communication, instead of having to travel long distances to acquire or to get some goods, risk and cost will be reduced by mere communicating with the, uh, the business partner at the other end and um, the goods are being sent to the other uh, at the other end, thus reducing cost and risk of traveling. Now, it also facilitates contact between businessmen and enhances international trade. However, in Nigeria, we have some problems, you know, of communication, and this includes inadequate infrastructure, some basic infrastructure that would aid communication, free flow of communication in Nigeria, and there is also a problem of inadequate personnel. Trained personnel, you know, equipped with the mental strength or ability and um, the knowledge to go about installation of these communication infrastructures and the rest of them are limited. And there is also what we call the poor services. Even the one we have Time in, time out, we complain of um, poor services at very crucial times when we need to communicate with some business partners and um, 
do some important, make some important calls. We uh, encounter poor services and networks, uh, network, which um, is a very big problem here in Nigeria. And um, there's high tariff. We have to pay the charges. Are we, are so high that um, it becoming very difficult for the common man to go about, you know, making calls, communicating, you know, for long distances. Today you see people putting their hands uh, <laughs> on the court, uh, on the end call, end call button while they are talking with um, the other person on phone. This is what they are trying to do, they are trying to conserve their air time because of the high time, so they, 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 they do not want to waste a second of their air time. So these are all problems facing communication in Nigeria. So the, 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 the benefit that would have been, you know, reaped from the communication is, in other words, limited because of these challenges. Now, we also have inadequate regulatory bodies to regulate the activities of these um, providers, these uh, network or communication companies. And we also have call failure. Now, can we suggest some solutions to the communication problems in Nigeria? One of these include the uh, provision of infrastructure.